Observation Point is one of the most scenic spots in Zion. And many don't know you don't need to take the strenuous Observation Point Trail or the shuttle will get here. Today, we're excited to share an easier way to reach Zion's coveted Observation Point, how to get there, what to expect on the trails, the amount of time you should budget, and much, much more. So before we dive in, if you could, please hit that thumbs up and subscribe button. It takes a half a second on your end and it really helps out our channel. So with that said, pack your sandwiches and lots of water and let's dive in. For those that are new to Zion, Observation Point is one of the highest points in Zion and actually overlooks the often crowded and much busier Angels Landing viewpoint. So it's one of the best views and hidden gems in the park. And if you aren't able to get shuttle tickets or don't want to attempt the strenuous eight mile Observation Point hike, we have the trail for you. The East Meza Trailhead is a back door into the park and a much easier trek to the Observation Point Summit. To reach this trailhead, you actually need to exit the park. So if you're like most travelers who enter Zion from the main entrance on the Springdale side, you'll actually need to drive all the way through the park and out the east side. This is one of the prettiest drives in America and should take you roughly 30 to 45 minutes to pass through. If you're already on the east side, you're in luck and the trailhead is extremely close. Once you exit the park, you want to follow your GPS to the East Meza Trailhead, which is one of the first lefts you take when you leave the park in only a five to 10 minute drive. I've included the address in the description below. You'll know you're getting close when the road becomes a dirt road. About a half mile from the trailhead, you'll find this dirt parking lot. If you don't have a four wheel drive vehicle with high clearance, I'd highly, highly recommend parking here and walking towards the trailhead as the road has major divots and you can get stuck if your car bottoms out or if there's any rain or mud on the trail. If you leave your car here, you'll follow the road and will eventually hit the main parking area for the trail, which is right by the trailhead. The first half of the hike is through a beautiful pine forest. With minimal elevation change, you'll walk along well-maintained dirt trails with plenty of shade. As you see these little offshoots of trails, I'd certainly recommend exploring some of the paths as they can offer spectacular views as you make your way through the forest. Halfway through the trail, you'll actually begin to leave the forest and descend through the valley. Here, the terrain changes to a desert grassland and the trail becomes much sandier. As you follow this, you'll notice the views keep getting better and better. So we are on the Observation Point Trail in Zion. It, we are probably going right about over here, this little point, to see the uh, the views. And as of now, they're spectacular. Yeah, it's starting to look pretty darn scenic over here. Yep, let's keep doing it. With these better views, some of the overlooks become increasingly treacherous. So be extra careful and watch your footing if you approach an edge. You'll continue hiking downward for around 30 to 45 minutes, where you'll eventually find the Observation Point Lookout. Here, you'll find one of the best spots for photos in the park as you look down into the seemingly endless canyon walls. This little ledge right here, that is uh, Angel's Landing. So we are well above that, getting some spectacular yeah. views. Think about the same. <laughs> if not better. Yeah, less yeah. treacherous hike as well, which is nice. Certainly. This makes an excellent spot for lunch and a water break. So if you brought sandwiches or granola bars, I'd highly recommend eating them while admiring the million dollar view. Just don't be surprised if some friendly wildlife takes an interest in your lunch too. Squirrels and chipmunks at the top are among some of the creatures you can expect to see in this hike. And while they're cute, please try to avoid feeding them. Found a nice spot to grab a uh, quick picnic lunch, top of observation point. We got a- uh, Lunch with the view. Lunch with the view, hard to beat. Plan to spend 30 minutes to an hour admiring the different viewpoints here at the top. It's beautiful, 360 degrees around, and each overlook has its own unique, beautiful vantage point. But be mindful, it certainly can be windy at the top. So one thing to be super cognizant of, it is crazy windy here. You have no idea. It is foam flying out of your hand windy. So become be very careful of the wind. Oh. Budget slightly more time for the walk back up, as this is not a loop trail, everything you walk down, Fortunately, according to Isaac Newton, you're going to have to walk up. However, after the uphill section, you'll be happy to recover walking through the flat pine section, which also serves as an excellent windbreaker after a windy peak view. The views through the forest are actually better on this walk back. And you'll be surprised to see the cliffs through the trees as you return through the forested part, which is slightly downhill. And that's it. If you found this useful or have any questions, 
please let us know in the comments below and consider subscribing to our channel. Like I said earlier, it takes no time at all on your part and really helps us grow the channel and encourages us to make more content. Thanks everyone and happy adventuring.